Hello everyone, my name is Uthris, and welcome back to a fourth episode of Going Medieval. Um, it is autumn now, the storehouse is complete, or actually halfway through autumn, it took that long, it took a whole season for them to stand up this giant barn of ours, so maybe I was a little too ambitious, but that's okay, because uh, now we have a very permanent structure that's going to be useful for a long time uh, ahead. So, because it's autumn, uh, what I want to do is kind of start harvesting some things and storing them, getting them ready for winter, right? So, we have, uh, you know, some cabbage getting ready, I think, in like three days or so. Uh, some of these other ones may be not as much, but I'm going to harvest um, the carrots and the beets a little early just to get ahead of winter and store things long term. Uh, the finished root cellar is here, so if we come down to the lower bits, right beneath everything, you can see we already have some food getting stored in this zone. Um, I need to actually zone in a new stockpile for animals and food. Okay, and each little room just has a single torch, so the inside temperature in each of these areas is about four degrees Celsius or so, kind of depending um, on, on, you know, if the doors are open and, and if air is kind of getting through. So it's pretty cool that we have like, almost like air locks in, in a way uh, to, you know, keep the, some of these things separated out. If we come down and look at say this roasted meat pile, it doesn't even have the stats for decay. So obviously we're at a pretty good temperature. Nothing's gonna decay uh, down here necessarily. So we're, we're pretty good. All right, so that's functioning. What I wanna do is get some meat so that we can start preserving smoked meat for our guys. Let's harvest that. Um, so where would be a good spot to go hunting a little bit. Let's see if there's any animals. There's a lot of bones around. I don't see any animals. Which is somewhat concerning for me. Because I was hoping to capture a few animals. No, not really capture, but to to get them. Um, so we're, we're not just living off berries here for next season. Oh, there's some. Alright, there's some deer. And, but I, I think I'm gonna go after some rabbits first. Uh, with our hunters. So that'll be good. It's raining, autumn, you know. Um, big structure that we need to make for this episode is the tailor's hut. Um, and we also need to decide on the, our next research kind of item. I, I'm thinking of going back and getting potentially um, smelting so we can start on a blacksmith type of thing uh, here soon. So let's get the tailor's hut. Uh, there's there's kind of two locations I'm thinking of either back here in this corner just to kind of spread out production or up here. Um, I'm kind of leaning more towards right up here and if I can get a vertical structure that'll be good to help counter kind of balance out these horizontal ones um, to the left and right. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll need a sewing station. And we'll see also if we can gain any more citizens today. So what I want is the building. This alleyway needs to maintain itself. So if I start the building, say, here, And go five. And then we can go, oh, like to here. And what I would like this to be, and again, this, this structure for like the shrines and stuff, this is gonna, this is a temp structure. Um, I've, I've decided it's a temp structure. Uh, I think it kind of interrupts the flow of the town a little too much. So uh, FYI, that'll be probably changing. And then um, we do something like that. And 
that. So stone stone foundational work, very common so far in the town. We get a fair amount of the stuff, so we might as well use it. All right. Otherwise, it will be maybe this one will be it's wood. We'll just do wood. I think that's fine. So this lower section might be a living area, so a couple beds in here, and table and chair. Um, and up here is the actual tailor's kind of workshop area. So there we go. Get that in. Don't forget our overhangs. I want the roof to run a little bit like this one. So so north south kind of kind of alignment here. Let's get rid of that. Okay. And we can throw in a roof, wooden roof. Because it is a production structure. Okay, that's a little frustrating. Let's see what it would look like if I just did a roof to there and a roof to here. I'm gonna get that overhang again. But honestly, it might be worth it. Just run some beams here. this too far? Nope. Good. Not a huge fan of what I'm having to do here for the roof, but trying to get these different sections to line up as much as possible. So that's okay. Okay. Then over here... Need a door. Go to the tailor shop. And then maybe we can just get an overhang a little bit. Make it seem a little, you know, somewhat more interesting for the entryway. I'm just gonna have one entrance there and everything else will be uh, kind of just worked out from the interior. So for example, entrance to the living area will just be right there. That's fine. Wooden floors, because that's still kind of our best option. And now we just need some windows, which I think I might make stone. So how about, we'll put windows, I think, um, along this way, but now, on the living side that's facing kind of the shrine and street eventually. And then over here, place some windows next to the door. Kind of brighten that up. So 
some more along here, and maybe just two out back there. We'll leave that. No windows. Good. And furniture-wise, we'll do a small table for, like, a countertop. Production's gonna be a sewing station. Might put two in here, to be honest. Just to help fill the space. Need a couple stools. Um, and then a stockpile that's just gonna house a fair amount of textile. for us. So we can start storing that here. For the build, I don't know why I always choose a, a rainy day and nighttime to build anything, but it's kind of like par for the core at this point. Uh, we can do beds maybe along here. Get a table on the far end, something like that. Oh, maybe. There we go. Gonna need torches. Torches do provide a bit of heat. So it's good to do. Boom, boom. And then rebuild this roof section that kind of collapsed on us because we changed walls. There is... Oh, okay. So these windows can't be here. Noted. Now I know why the roof disappeared. All right, easy fix though. Boom. Just like that. And then I think I can just squeeze one window, say here. All right. That is being worked on. I wish there were like chimneys I could add. In theory, I could. I could always um, just visually add chimneys. So like for example, um, out here, I could just do that, right? Actually, I kind of like it side I'll, tr I'll try to add at least like some sort of stone tower to represent a chimney I think going forward on, on some living areas can't go through the roof though bit of bit annoying that I can't do that Like here, maybe. I can do a chimney. It'll look okay. Awesome. So, Taylor's Hut's getting underway. Um, we have harvested a fair amount of food, which for now uh, we have three days to put it into storage, which things will get moved down there hopefully soon. Let's take a look at down below. How much more is being added? Oh, we have the rabbits uh, in storage now. Doesn't look like they're rotting either. So 
that's good. I'm waiting for someone with culinary skill of 10 um, to show up. Until then, we can't really do much with the meat. So we'll just kind of keep storing animals, I think. Mm, there's a wolf. Ooh, look! Nice, we have a jailbird coming over. So uh, this person here is pretty good at animal handling and culinary. This might be our permanent cook if they have a two-star in it. Like cook farmer kind of person. And animal handling. Okay, two fierce forest bandits and five forest. So we're gonna attack, get an attack by seven. Seven people, Osrled. You have joined the town. Also, with with him joining the town. Number one, I need to set them so they want to heal. Um, you guys have been sending in your suggestions for joining the town, and so I can oblige. So we need to name a few people. Um, so I'm, I'm kind of naming it first come, first serve. You also might not get the profession you want because obviously I'm just limited in that sense. So Alex Yukikaze, you wanted to join the town. And then also Barth. Now Barth is a pretty general gender neutral name. So, um, I can just name, say, uh, Misa after you, that's fine. So, Barth, boom. So definitely let me know if you guys wanna join the town as well. And we'll just add you to the list, the ever-growing list of townsfolk. Okay, so you have a dislocated shoulder there. Alex. Alex Yukikaze Hawthorne. <laughs> Super Hawthorne. Alright. Wonderful. So that building's gonna be worked on. I'm gonna preemptively chop a bit more wood. Never know. Julian and Barth applying some healing. And let's get the schedule set for you as well. Okay. Nice. Roof is already coming up on this thing. This is this this is a lot quicker of a structure being built here. We also need to manage Alex and give them a weapon. Okay, another bow. We can we can take that. Gonna get make sure people start wearing armor too. these guys already have winter clothes. It's kind of interesting. That's why I'm building this tailor's hut, so we can provide them with new clothes and things. So. Hopefully that'll be good. Four hours until we get attacked. Um, let's take a look at jobs. Who is our best tailor? Barth is the best tailor. And then probably Julian. I mean, technically, Joanne is the highest tailoring that we get. From like a skill level perspective. So 
So we'll see how that goes. How many uh, food products do we have? 33 right now. It's pretty good. Oh, good. We're harvesting some herbs. Did, did I accidentally delete a roof? Don't know how I managed that. Because I'm a big old dumb. One hour till some hostiles arrive. We have some wood still. Um, I need to harvest more, though. The amount of trees that I cut down, by the way, for our barn is just crazy. Alright, so the enemies are arriving um, imminently. So we can try and figure that out. Let's go ahead and draft everyone. Get them in position. All right, we're gonna we're gonna defend. All right, so are they coming from the same corner? It looks like it. I don't know if they're always going to attack from the same direction. Um, none of them have bows, which is good for us. Hopefully that means we can really take advantage of the height. That we have. Do some early harassment and then we have four footmen to kind of move as we see fit. So the raid's going to start in just a minute. All right, here they come. It's a night raid. Oh man, Richard's fast. He, he's going all in. Look at that guy. And it looks like he's he's wanting to just take up the normal route. That's fine. I think uh, I think the other people's armors potentially affecting their speed on getting here. Okay, decent auto save location. Boom! Immediate. Oh, Richard, you're not gonna make it. You're not gonna make it, buddy. No, he is not down already. Clumsy leather cap. Some winter clothes. Oh, Martin. Martin's probably gonna die here. Yep. Nice. All of our people are engaging. We're gonna let her run away. Victory! All right. Julian, the bravest of settlers, dealing the most blows to the foe, took the most damage, at least did. So, um, she, she needs to go heal as quickly as possible. All right, perfect. Now, just undraft everyone. What's the, what's the loot that we got out of this one? Um, some winter clothes, flimsy kind of stuff. Some sturdy. A burdish. That's pretty cool. That's a, that's a pretty good weapon. The wooden spear does apparently more, though. So let's go ahead and allow, you know, pick up on a lot of these. So we can put it into storage as soon as we could. All right, so their blood is going down. Um, hopefully when someone wakes up, They have a severed artery. I mean, she's gonna get some food. She's gonna go lay back down in bed. She is kind of healing. Waiting for someone to provide some herbs. There we go. No, 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 lay back down. Where, where are you going? 
I, I get that you're supposed to be praying. Um, let's... Make sure they lay back down. Oh, wow. Okay. Heal, heal Alex first, I suppose. That's okay. Now get healed by me. Awesome. I'm kind of letting them figure it out. I, I, I really want um, our townsfolk to be set correctly. Alex, you just have a dislocated shoulder. I guess that bow. That bow is pretty, pretty heavy. All right. Um, items are still on the ground. That's fine. We'll just let their corpses rot in the sun. It's a normal day. Uh, definitely a normal day. Okay, how are we doing on food? We have some roasted meat. We have some stew. Uh, we have some raw meat, beets. We got plenty of red currant. Let's just bump it up to 100 food. We need, we need people cooking. Kind of at all times. Need you to get that skill up, Alex, so we can do uh, different types of food. Different types of food would be ideal. All right, um, tailor shop. Looking pretty good. We got the production here. Um, Smental items for cloth. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So if items are at zero to 40 percent hit points, we're gonna dismantle them, right? Just forever. We don't want trash items, okay? Um, otherwise, we will maintain Ten of each type of outfit here. So this right one is going to be used to maintain our standard clothes. The left one will be used to maintain everything else. So this one will be like armor when we can start unlocking it. like. Gambinsons, Gambisons? Um, leather armor, things like that. In fact, we might end up replacing that table with like an armorer's table. Because it's kind of working in that cloth sort of area still. All right, nice. All right, now we can just fast forward time. Chill for a bit, see what we need. I think we need some more wood for the building. Which is easy enough to get. We're gonna have to start thinking about growing our own trees too, uh, potentially next, next season or year, I guess in spring. All right, the roof is up. Didn't even need to do a skip. We did. We defended from a raid, gained a new citizen, named some some uh, citizens after you all in the chat, and I think we're we're kind of good to go. Nice, successful build today. Sadly, it just looks like we have another copy of this building up here. A little frustrating. Um, I, I need to try and get more variety where I can. We'll see about that. So next time, um, what I want to do is maybe do the blacksmith. Um, we can lay it out the blacksmith in this area. Would be good. And then we have kind of like a, our three main productions, right? Metal production, cloth, fabric, and wood production buildings up.
At that point, we can think about um, researching either brick making, stone block cutting, to try and get rid of all of our tier one research items, get them out of the way, get them done, and then move into kind of more tier two. We need a brewery. We need people to uh, have some good old alcohol, you know. And then we can maybe start thinking about, I wouldn't say getting a cooking spot early, Maybe like wooden weaponry too, an armorer. And then finish off furniture, defensive structures. And then we can start working on tier three. So that's the plan. That is the plan. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Everyone's gathering, playing some backgammon and having a good time. Our people are surviving and almost thriving in this environment now. So look forward to more episodes of Going Medieval soon. You guys have a good one, and thanks so much for watching. Subscribe if you enjoy the channel, and we'll see you all in the next one.